Welcome to my cooking channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Middle Eastern favorite, one that was taught to me by my Aunt Stella, or as we called her, Thea. So let's get ready and start cooking. Welcome to Cooking with Katarina. Today I'm going to show you how to make stuffed grape leaves, also known as domadakia, or as I have always known them, as yaprakia. There are so many delicious recipes that probably more recipes than there are islands in Greece. So let's get started and make this delicious meal. Now, here's what we're going to need to make our stuffed grape leaves. You're going to need a two pound jar of grape leaves. And you can purchase them either in the specialty st section of your grocery store, or you might have to go to a Middle Eastern store to get them. Now, some grape leaves you can buy, and you'll see that they don't have the stem on them. Some, if you buy them, will have a stem, and you'll need to cut that off down to the leaf. So just remember that. Once you take them out of the jar, make sure you rinse them really good. And as you can see, I put mine in a colander with a little bowl underneath it. You'll need two and a half pounds of ground meat or ground chuck. Just make sure it's 80-20. You'll need one cup and a quarter cup of long grain rice. I call it the cheaper rice. Uh, you want something that's going to expand nicely. You'll need a half a cup of sauteed onions, and I sauteed these in one tablespoon of olive oil. You'll also need a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of garlic, and a half a teaspoon of pepper. Now, I use De Fratelli tomato sauce. It's my favorite, but use anything that you like the flavor of the tomato sauce. You also will take that can, which is a 28 ounce can of tomato sauce, and you'll put one and a half cups separated because you're going to use that in your meat mixture. You're also going to add to that tomato sauce a half a cup of water, and one tablespoon of lemon juice. You'll also need three tablespoons of dill. Now, I like to harvest my dill in the summertime and then I wash it and roll it up in saran wrap so that I can freeze it and use it anytime I want. But if you're using the dill weed from uh, in a jar, then I would use two tablespoons of that dill weed. You're also going to use the remaining uh, tomato sauce with one tablespoon of lemon juice, and then you're gonna fill that can up with water the rest of the way, and then add another full can of water. And that will be used to cover your grape leaves once they're in your pan. Now, some people use a pot and they cook it on the stove, I prefer a roaster pan, sorry for the noise, uh, but I prefer a roaster pan and I stick it in the oven and I can just let it cook in there and not have to worry about it. So now we'll begin to put this together. A couple things before we get started that I want to mention. If you have any rings on, please make sure you take them off, wash your hands really good. The other thing I'd like to add, um, if you want to substitute kiwa for the rice, just use the same amount. I've done it for my daughter and uh, it works out really well. Tastes very good too. So what we're going to do first is we'll take our rice, one and a quarter cup of rice, and put that in our two and a half pounds of ground beef. Okay, now we're going to add our onion that's been sauteed. Um, just saute it for like a minute, minute and a half. You just want it to be uh, translucent. It kind of brings out the sweetness of the onion. And uh, 
I did that in one tablespoon of uh, olive oil. Then our half a teaspoon of salt, um, our half a teaspoon of garlic, and our half a teaspoon of pepper. Now, we'll put our half a cup of water into our tomato and uh, pour that over. Oh, let's put our lemon juice in that too so that it blends with that. And we'll stir it up here so that it blends. And then pour it over the mixture. Okay. And add your three tablespoons of fresh dill or two tablespoons of uh, dried dill weed. This will give it such a flavor. Now, I know that other recipes show to um, use different things like mint and parsley, but this is what I use. So, now what you're going to do is you're going to mix this up with your hands. It's the only way to really get it blended good. And once you have it blended, then you can start rolling your stuffed grape leaves. All our ingredients are blended really well. Now, if you look in my pan, I've taken some of the grape leaves and I have layered uh, them down in the bottom of the pan. So that's the first thing you want to do. Now we have some of our leaves ready to go. And to tell you how much mixture you need to place in each leaf will depend on how big the leaf is. You'll find out that no two are the same. So we're going to take a little bit here and you kind of press it out. And then you roll this part. Now make sure that the rib side of the leaf is out because the other side is what we call the pretty side. So you want that to be on the outside. So you'll take and you will fold the top over. Then you'll bring in the sides, just like that, and then roll it the rest of the way. Now, let's try another one. And as you can see, this leaf is bigger. So we're going to put a little more in there. And here you go. Bring this side over. Again, the rib side is out where, you, where you're putting the meat mixture in. And the pretty side will be the outside. Then you fold in on both sides. And then roll. And roll them as tight as you can. Let's do one more. And then I'll show, th show you how I put them in the pan. So we'll take a mixture. This one's pretty good size too. So we'll add a little bit more in that one. Fold your top over. And then the sides come in. And roll. Now when you place them in your pan, you want to go around the outside first of the pan and kind of butt them up together. And you're going to go all the way around your pan and then keep doing it as you go to the center and make sure they're really tight. Now once you put one whole layer on, what you're going to do is take a salt shaker and just lightly salt that layer. And you'll do that with every layer. So I'm going to continue rolling and when we come back I'll show you how to put your liquid on here so that you can put it in the oven and cook it. As you can see I have my first layer is done. So what I do is I take and I press them down just to make sure they're good and tight in there. Then I take a salt shaker and I've already washed my hands so I can touch my salt shaker and just lightly sprinkle that layer. Just like that. Uh, a couple other things I wanted to tell you. If 
for some chance you run into some small leaves, just put two together and it'll work out fine. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of my layers until I'm all done with my uh, the leaves that I have left and we'll be ready to pour the water and tomato sauce on top. Now we've stuffed all our grape leaves and we're ready to put the rest of it together and stick it in the oven. Now I have saved some more big leaves like we put on the bottom of the pan. We're going to put them on top of the grape leaves. So you'll place them in there and this will hold them down along with some dishes we're going to put on top. And make sure your dishes are able to go into the oven. So there we go. Now to finish the liquid part of this that we're going to put on, we're going to use the rest of our tomato sauce from the can that we used one and a half cups earlier for the meat mixture. So to that we're going to add a tablespoon of lemon juice and enough water to fill up the can. And you can give that a stir so you can blend it. And you're going to pour it over your grape leaves. Because you want your grape leaves to be completely submersed. Now, depending on what size pan you use, um, you're going to determine how much water you're going to have inside your pan. Next, you're going to take two plates, make sure that they can go into the oven, and you're going to lay them on top of your grape leaves, again, to hold it down. So now we're going to fill up our can to the top with some water, and we're going to pour that over top too. And I already put my stove or my oven on 375. So we're ready to put the lid on the pan, stick it in the oven again at 375 and let it cook for about an hour. After about an hour, you'll want to like take one of the grape leaves out, make sure the rice is cooked. And once the rice is cooked, you know you're ready to eat. The wait is over. Now that our grape leaves have cooked for an hour, when I took them out of the oven, I left the lid on and let them set for about 15 minutes. That way they get to absorb some of the juice. And as you can see, I plated it. I have our stuffed grape leaves, or as we call them, ya parakya, our feta cheese, our Greek kalamata olives, some lemon wedges in case you want to put some extra lemon on your stuffed grape leaves and some fresh homemade bread. It doesn't get any better than this, let me tell you. And the smell from the dill is just amazing. You should try some dill and stuffed peppers. It's also delicious. Now I'm going to taste some of this. Mmm. Let me tell you. It is so delicious. Now, I hope your family enjoys it as much as our family. And if you like this video, please subscribe, share it, and put some comments down. Let me know that you've tried the recipe and how your family enjoyed it. And if all else fails, ask Yaya because Yaya knows best. Until next time, thank you. Vinyasas. Yes,